the power of the glacier is, is phenomenal. Recent research uh, by one of the universities on the comings and goings of the glaciers in British Columbia, in the coast and in the, mount in the mountains. And you see these things coming and going over the last 8,000 years. You, you see when they've advanced and when they have not advanced. And uh, when you look at that and you compare it to the warming and cooling cycles through those periods of time, there's a one-to-one -one correlation. So when it was warmer, they, they retreated. When it was cooler, they advanced. What is causing that warming and cooling? And this is well before man had any impact. We don't know. We don't know what caused it. Uh, we, it's probably some fluctuation in, in the extraterrestrial uh, forces. Uh, because it's hard to it's hard to see the the crust of the earth responding in such in 200 300 500 years um, but so the suggestion is it must be something in the solar system or greater mm -hmm. and so we um, I'm not worried about the glaciers we've if we are at the end of a of a an interglacial, then we're going to see glaciation come back. And not, not just cold, but we're going to see North America, in northern North America, covered with ice. There, the Canada will be an ice baller, but as it has been in the past. So that's the possibility. But the other possibility is that we've seen the end of glaciation and that we are going to continually warm on a on a first cycle first order cycle uh, heating of the earth which has nothing to do with man we demonstrate that over 600 million years mm -hmm. so we don't know where we are on that on this scale all we can do is record the ups and downs and uh, then try to figure out uh, how to respond and accommodate to the changes. The changes are going to take place. We're not going to stop them. Well, that's very enlightening, Dr. Harper. Thank you for being with us on Climate Conversations. For Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling. Join us. <laughs>